Greetings, I just wanted to show everybody uh, an example of chat GPT and how you can actually utilize it to write code. Um, in this example, I'm on my WordPress site, which is martech.zone. And what I, uh, I basically built a custom post type called acronyms where people can look up acronyms really easy. And what I want to do is actually query the database and if they mouse over an acronym, I want a little div pop up to pop up there. So I just asked chat GPT to do this for me. So I said, you know, write a jQuery function that uses the WordPress API to make an Ajax request. The function should watch for a mouse over, over an anchor tag that begins with, uh, and I have martech.zone slash acronym, and uses the trailing text to query a destination API. So I didn't, rec I didn't really define what that API was, um, but I said the result should produce a mouse over div pop-up that displays the API results. So chat GPT came back and did it perfectly. They said, you know, uh, they wrote it with jQuery, so document ready. If the URL, you know, uh, equal starts with that, uh, then grab that information. And then they, um, chat GPT figured that I was using the JSON API uh, automatically with my site, which I'm not. So uh, there's the pop-up, and then they even uh, added the functions to for the, the pop-up to fade out, which is pretty cool. So I said this, this function, uh, or they said this function listens, uh, and they basically read back what the, what I asked. And I said, update the, the function so that the last segment of the URL is the acronym request. So martech.zone slash acronym slash API does a request for acronym API, but don't make it specific to the term API. It can be any term. So they came, uh, they came back and basically said, okay, here's how we're going to do it. We're going to use split and pop, and we're going to grab that last text, and that's going to be our acronym that we define. Um, so pretty good. Um, so I said, can this be used? I don't have uh, the API JSON enabled on my site. Uh, I said, so can this use another method to query the WordPress database? It said, absolutely. Um, so you can query the database using the WPDB class and, and actually write a query and query the database and get that information back. Pretty cool. But the interesting thing here is they said select, uh, select the records from WP acronyms. Well, this is a custom post type that I'm doing. So I wrote back and I said, hey, uh, can you update this query to use a custom post type equals acronyms from WP Post? And it said, yeah, sure. Here's the query that I'll use. And then here it is written uh, again into the jQuery, right? Fantastic. So I said, in the resulting pop-up, add a display for custom fields, uh, acronym description, acronym site URL, and acronym site, uh, in addition to the title and content. Okay, they said, We'll go ahead and do that. So they got the post, uh, they got the post meta uh, for acronyms uh, for for the information. They append it all together, and then they do a fade out. Uh, so, and then uh, I wrote. Uh, this is a pretty typical thing with WordPress. I said, I, I get an error on WordPress where I use a dollar sign instead of jQuery written out. And then they said, hey, yeah, in WordPress, it's recommended to use jQuery alias instead of the dollar sign symbol to avoid conflicts. So. They rewrote <laughs> the function there. So this is this is why uh, this is just absolutely so fascinating. So if I was going to pay someone to you know to to develop this for me, you know I I would I would be willing to venture that it would be a couple hundred dollars or a few hundred dollars to get them to do this. Uh, instead, I just used Chat GPT and just went through this you know kind of series of iterations to identify any problems and then to fine tune the code. And uh, it's, it's, I, I, it just blows my mind at how this is going to revolutionize, you know, how we write code uh, and how we write code well uh, and, and get things deployed faster.